Hey guys, good morning. So this is something that comes up with my clients all the time and it's definitely something that obviously I've struggled as a woman with this. It's how to change a habit. You know, in the space of health and fitness, obviously it really all comes down to the habits that you form. And here's the thing. We have to override our lizard brain. What does that mean? Well, there's this piece of the brain called the amygdala, which it's like our prehistoric brain. And that part of our brain is always trying to keep us safe and keep things easy. And it wants to keep things easy because when we're doing things that are easy, we expend less energy. So it's actually part of our survival and it's super important. However, it can totally sabotage when you're trying to form a new habit. So the thing is, you have to learn how to override your, your body's tendency to keep you in the familiar, right? So you first have to decide, well, you know, what is it that you want to accomplish, right? So if it's a fitness goal, then you identify what it is that you want to accomplish and then you know pretty much what you're gonna to have to do to get there and then that process is where it gets hard so if you know I've got to get up early every morning to get my workout in but you're used to getting up 30 minutes you know before you have to be at work jumping in the shower getting to the office your head is still wet you're eating breakfast on the go now you're gonna retrain yourself to get up two hours earlier so that you can get your workout in. So your, your lizard brain is gonna resist that because that is foreign. So first, you gotta say, okay, how can I change my belief around that? How can I make the foreign familiar? Well, it's all about believing that you can, right? So first evaluate, can I, am I capable of doing this? Is this important enough to me? And that's the secret. If you decide right in those, those moments, how important is this to me? How will I feel about myself if I accomplish it? And those feelings, that feeling of pleasure has to be stronger then the feeling of pain, because the pain is what keeps that amygdala generating, stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, and, and kind of dictating your behavior. So you have to see your outcome as being far more pleasurable than the pain of the process. And once you get there, you can override that lizard brain, and any goal is totally attainable. Any habit can be formed if you just learn how to use your brain for you in every circumstance. Hope that helps you. Feel free to comment below if you're struggling to form a habit. I'd love to help you get a little deeper with it. Much love, much respect. Peace out.